record on this computer. All right, guys, the recording started. So yeah, uh, doing a little, uh, you know, background on uh, one moment, guys, sorry. All right. Uh, doing a little, uh, you know, uh, recap of what we have discussed yesterday. Hey, yesterday hey Sam. We... Hey, yeah. Sam. Uh, sorry to sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, uh, so one request, you know, refer your friends and relatives for this training and you will get uh, some very good referral amount, guys. Okay. So I'll, uh, so based on how many tools they join and how, many, how much amount they pay, so you will get a referral amount, very good, decent referral amount, guys. Okay. So do bring in your friends and relatives so that it will be helpful for your practice also. Go to market. Okay. Yes, yeah. you can go ahead. Our person told. Yeah. Uh, go to market. Anyone who is not speaking, please keep on uh, yourselves on mute, guys. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks, Pawan. Yeah, that is uh, one important thing. Please, uh, please do bring in your friends. Uh, you know, it will be more interesting uh, having friends in the conversation and, uh, you know, uh, practicing uh, along with them so that, you know, it will be more interesting, right? So uh, please do bring in your friends and, uh, you know, uh, so that we can, we can actually uh, try and uh, make this more interesting, all right? Now, uh, going to uh, recap uh, from yesterday, uh, what we have done, we have uh, tried to understand what this performance testing is, what is the scope of performance testing. Uh, we have understood a, a few terms in the performance testing, what load is, what server performance is, and uh, you know, uh, what is uh, uh, some of these terms, DNS, LAN, ISP, AUT, uh, these kind of things. And uh, we've also tried to understand what are the different roles in the performance engineers. And uh, uh, you know, this is where we actually stopped. So before I go ahead with the next session, do you guys have any questions, guys? Anything at no, all? Sir. No, no, sir. Okay, and guys, uh, before uh, before we start, do you guys uh, are you guys comfortable with the kind of speed that I'm going in? We can we can always adjust the speed, guys. Uh, in the in the starting of the session, uh, you know, we can always adjust the speed. Uh, if so, if I'm if you think if you guys think that I'm going too fast, we can actually uh, you know uh, reduce that a little bit. If uh, if you guys think that I'm going too slow, we can also uh, you know increase that a little bit. Uh, any any problems with that? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Uh, but please let me know if you have any any issues, guys. And all of you have my uh, you know WhatsApp number, so uh, you know uh, you can you can ping me over there. You can call me on the WhatsApp. Uh, don't call the direct number, guys. You can call me over the WhatsApp. All right. Now, let's go ahead and try to uh, understand what are the next steps. Okay. <laughs> so. We have understood, uh, you know, what is performance testing and, uh, you know, uh, how we do this particular performance. Uh, okay. Today, we'll discuss on how we do the performance testing. How to do the performance testing. Okay. So, how to do this particular performance testing. What is performance testing, basically? When, uh, you know, we are, uh, we are actually trying to understand uh, what are the kind of response times when there is load, when uh, load in the sense, when there are multiple users, multiple transactions that are happening on the system at the same time, what is the kind of response times that you are getting for this particular application, right? So that is what is the performance testing. Uh, while we are doing that, we'll also try to observe what is the server performance, right? So on, on a very high level, this is what is the performance testing, right? Now, now guys, uh, how do we do this particular performance testing? What do I mean by that? How do we find the response times? How do we put the load on the server? And how do we find the response times? Yes, guys, anyone? Uh, from the developer tools, we can find that response time for the particular API. Perfect. From the developer tools, we can find the response times of that, uh, you know, particular APIs, particular JavaScript pages, particular, um, you know, uh, CSS files. Uh, we can we can actually do all that. Having said that, the developer tools, you would actually be able to use it only for one user, 
right? That is when well, you are actually doing it, you would actually be able to find out what is the kind of response time that you are getting, right? But what is the main goal of this performance testing? One of the main goals of the performance testing is to actually put in multiple users and multiple transactions at the same time. Now, let's introduce one more concept. What, uh, the <clears throat> concept is called concurrent users transactions. What is this concurrent users and transactions? Yes, guys? Uh, multiple user on the multiple users. multiple users accessing this application at the same, same time. time concurrent yeah. in the sense at the same time at the same time okay so multiple users and uh, transactions happening on the application at the same time that is what is the concurrent users and tra uh, concurrent transactions so in the performance testing the most important thing is concurrency Okay, that is the most important thing. Otherwise, if you are not having concurrency, if you are just doing it one one after the another, then that's you know uh, it's it's as good as a single user test. You can do it from uh, from the browser using the developer tools or whatever, right? Now, how do we achieve this concurrency? Yes, guys. Uh, by gradually increasing the uh, users. Yes. How do we increase the users? Uh, uh, using the ramp up. In JMeter, we are using the ramp up. Uh, exactly. In uh, We would use tools like JMeter, LoadRunner, uh, uh, Silk Performer, WebLoad. All these tools we would use. Isn't it? Now, why would I have to use the tools? Because we didn't have that much of users uh, who can... Uh, Use at the, uh, who can click the same API at the same time. So oh, why not? Using... Come on, guys. India is, uh, you know, around 2 billion people. We have so many users. It might, it might be costly now uh, to have 1,000 users at the, and it will be uh, syncing that 1,000 user to click one API at the same time. Yes, uh, the costly part, I would agree with you. Yes, it is definitely costly. Uh, you know, uh, if you have to hire so many number of users, uh, you know, it would, it would definitely be costly. But then, uh, yeah, you can, you can always, uh, you know, use different uh, uh, methodologies in order to have them concurrently access this particular application. But then guys, the most important thing is not, uh, you know, uh, cost or, uh, you know, uh, having all of them click this application at the same time. The most important thing is reliability. Reliability of all this particular real human beings, right? Reliability of all this particular real human beings. What do I mean by that? Guys, if I ask you to click this particular, uh, you know, access this particular, uh, you know, one application, whatever you, uh, whatever application that you take. If I ask you to access it for, uh, this particular application once, and if I ask you to tell the response times, then, uh, you know, uh, probably using the developer tools, uh, you would actually give me the response times. But there are so many factors that would uh, go in in this particular real human beings, right? One of them could be your system issues, isn't it? Maybe you are using a laptop which is, uh, you know, extremely old, right? Maybe one user is actually using a laptop which is extremely old. Another using a, uh, another user is using a laptop which is brand new. Obviously, there would be difference in the performance of that particular laptop itself, right? Isn't it? <coughs> yes. And guys, also, you know, it's, uh, let's say, uh, you know, uh, I want to, I want to do this test. Uh, I have done this test. Okay. Uh, using real users, I have done the test somehow. Okay. And then, uh, you know, uh, there are so many performance issues that we found and we want to repeat the test. We have done some, uh, you know, modifications on the server side and we want to repeat the test. Now what would happen? Again, I would have to bring in all these users. Right. And now, guys, one of the another important factor that would, uh, you know, creep in in the real human beings is boredom. Right. 
even though i pay you uh, you know very good amount of money uh, if i have to if you have to use the same thing again and again and again then what would happen you would start getting bored you would start doing mistakes right isn't it guys yes sir. okay so in order to avoid all this particular confusion and especially the uh, you know cost factor what uh, people have done is they have actually come up with this particular concept of performance test tools okay so what are these performance test tools we have already discussed jmeter load runner silk performer web load uh, you know neo load there are so many tools out there in the market all right so we have all these particular tools okay so uh, people have actually developed these particular tools so what we would do we would actually make use of this particular tools in order to in order to do the performance testing okay so what these tools would do is we would actually you know try to understand what are the kind of transactions what are the kind of uh, you know application navigation flow that you want to go through in this particular application that you want to actually test in this particular application you would actually try to uh, you know do some scripts okay whatever the flows that you want to do uh, the uh, testing you would do the scripts okay all the navigation flows that have to be tested are scripted using the performance test tools okay so once all this uh, you know scripting is done then what uh, what we would do is using this particular performance test tools we would create something called as virtual users these are not real users guys these are virtual users okay these virtual users they would actually try to uh, you know uh, according to whatever the scripts that you have developed these virtual users they would actually try to access the application and they would actually try to get you know whatever the information that we require we, uh, they would actually try to get and they would actually try to find out what is the kind of uh, you know response times uh, when there is load on the server and we would also be able to understand what is the kind of server performance okay clear about it guys yes this is why we would actually use the performance test tools right now this performance test tools is something like robots right these virtual users are something like robots whatever you tell them they would do Uh, seen that particular uh, rajnikanth movie yes tv etti padey ante tv petti padey ante it would put the tv on and the robot will also drop the tv on the floor right you would have to be very careful with this particular robots you would have to tell exactly what you want you tell it a little bit more or a little bit less it would do that it would simply do it okay go straight in the car it would actually go straight even though there is a you know uh, uh, there uh, even though there there could be some accident that could happen it would just simply drive straight if you actually ask it to drive straight okay that is the reason why we are developing uh, artificial intelligence and all but that's a story for different time uh, uh, for now we are actually trying to ensure that we actually have this particular users do the transactions in a way that the real time users does and that is what we would actually try to test okay clear about it guys yes sir yes yes guys so guys what we are trying to do is we are trying to use this particular performance test tools okay so um, somebody is actually doing some drawing on my machine pawn you there disable annotation for others 
ओके एंड I don't know how to get rid of that. Um. Ah, uh, Pawan, are you there? Okay, looks like Pawan dropped off. All right, guys. I'm not a big deal. Uh, we'll we'll just ignore it. Okay. So, what are the different types of performance test tools? Okay. One, uh, as we all discussed, load runner, uh, silk performer. web load j meter neo load okay there are so many tools out there in the market guys all right so load runner presently it is with we already discussed this guys presently it is with open text right before open text it was there with micro focus before micro focus it was there with Before micro focus, it was there with HP, and before HP, it was there with Mercury. Okay, Mercury is the company which actually developed this particular uh, tool, Load Runner. All right, it has been acquired so many times. Clear about it, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Load Runner is one of the uh, is is not one of the. It is the top commercial performance test tool out there in the market okay there are a lot of other tools like silk performer web load neo load and all those things i'm sorry but it is the uh, top performance uh, commercial performance test tool in the market what do i mean by that most of the company are using uh, load runner exactly most of the companies are actually using this load runner why you know probably the timing probably the kind of support that the load runner provides you raise uh, you raise a support ticket with load runner guys and you know they are so fast in responding they are so fast in actually trying to uh, give you a support that you know you would be amazed all right they they would be on back of you to in order to get that particular issue resolved right so the kind of support that the load runner gives is amazing right uh, i'm not sure after open text uh, to cover how uh, things are but uh, you know before that it was it was pretty good guys i'm getting a call uh, can you give me one moment guys i'm really sorry sorry guys um, yeah so uh, this uh, the, the support is amazing for this particular load runner, all right? So that is the reason why a lot of companies would actually, you know, want to take this particular uh, load runner, okay? And not only the uh, support, you would also have the support for a lot of protocols, okay? One more, uh, you know, concept that we are going to introduce today is protocols, okay? There, there is a lot of support for, uh, you know, protocols uh, for the, in the load runner. Now, what is the protocol? We would discuss it again. We would discuss it later, a little later. Okay, not today, a little later. Okay, so there is a lot of support for a lot of protocols in the load runner. That is the reason why, you know, load runner is one of the top commercial tool because in the companies, you know, there are, uh, you know, especially in the bigger companies, right? There are so many, two, uh, you know, uh, applications that they would have. Okay, and, uh, you know, there are multiple applications that might not really be, HTTP protocol or uh, you know normal protocols. They they might actually use some other protocols. Okay, so uh, you know lo, uh, in order to get support for all those uh, different protocols, load runner uh, you know would be one single tool which would actually be able to support a lot of these protocols. That is the reason why we would actually you know try to use this particular load runner. Okay.
clear about it guys now there are a lot of other tools as i said and jmeter is the top open source tool okay now guys when there is an open source tool why do you want to use a commercial tool yes guys when there is an open source tool why do you want to use a commercial tool Uh, better support yeah maybe because of the service they provide here yeah. exactly there is a there is a better support one and the ease of execution is also a uh, pretty easy in load owner guys we would say uh, you know it's open source but then most of the times guys not with jmeter but most of the times uh, you know open source tools they would actually you know it would consume cost how would it consume cost in terms of resource cost in load runner uh, you know or in commercial tools uh, if you can do something within uh, say 1 hour in the open source tools you would actually uh, you know end up doing that for you know 2 uh, or 3 hours now obviously nobody is doing charity isn't it if uh, you know if i'm if i'm actually working for a company then what i would do i would uh, you know for every hour that i spend over there i'm actually charging them isn't it Yes, guys. Yes, yes. So, I'm taking salary. So, obviously, you would actually spend money on the open source tools, okay? But whereas commercial tools, you know, even though the license cost is there, you know, you you would get it done faster. So, what would happen? You are spending lesser money on the resource cost. Okay? Clear about it, guys? but then guys uh one one important thing that uh you would have to also consider is you know uh is this application complex enough that you would actually need that particular commercial support is one thing that lot of companies are thinking over now and that is the reason why you also have so much uh you know uh requirement for jmeter okay or open source tools if you do, uh, you know uh, if the that kind of commercial requirement is not there then probably people are actually shifting to jmeter and if the uh, you know but there are a lot of projects which need that particular support and that is why we are having a lot of requirement for load runner as well okay clear about it guys okay yeah Yes. Okay. So now we would concentrate on the load on. This is uh this is the uh discussion regarding the different performance stress tools. I would go a little deeper uh you know uh as and when the time requires. But now uh for now this is the different types of performance stress tools. Okay. Clear, guys. Yes. Now, what are the different types of performance tests okay what are the different types of performance tests that are there okay so one is load testing stress testing scalability testing soak or endurance testing capacity sorry testing um and we'll add all right so when we are talking about the performance testing guys you know people use this particular terms performance test load test and stress test pretty interchangeably but then they are completely different guys okay uh, people use them very very interchangeably but then they are extremely completely different and uh, you know you would have to very very carefully use them right especially when you are in interviews and you know uh, instead of using the term load testing if you use performance testing then that's a huge uh, red mark for them all right so you would have to understand what this particular each of this particular term means and you would have to uh, make use of that particular term very very carefully okay 
Clear about it, guys? Now, what is this particular load testing? Somebody wants to volunteer? Yes, guys. What is load testing? Uh, we execute the particular uh, load that the uh, uh, client needs. Suppose uh, the client needs a uh, 1,000 users uh, on the application, so we execute that much of load. Try to find what is the um, expected load on the system. Okay, try to find what is the expected load on the system or as you said, whatever the client requires, right? Uh, uh, usually guys, if you follow the process, the performance testing has to be done before the application goes into production, isn't it? So once the application goes into production, what is the kind of load that this particular application is expecting? Like for example, let's say, you know, I've developed this particular icicbank.com website. Now on the day one that it uh, this particular application actually goes into production, what is the kind of, uh, you know, load? What are the number of users that this, uh, you know, icicbank.com uh, website would actually have? What is the kind of, uh, you know, number of transactions that all these users would do in the day one or in the year one after the release of the application? That is what I would want to test in the performance testing, in the load testing. Okay. So the client would actually gather all that particular requirements and the client would actually give that particular requirements to you. Okay, they would say, okay, this is the kind of load that I would see on the day one. And I would want to ensure that my application would actually be able to sustain that particular load. Okay, clear about it, guys. And again, what do you mean by sustain? What do you mean by sustain? To take that much of particular load. Which yes. we are expecting. While that particular load is there on the system, the response times of the application remains under SLAs, the response times of the applications remains under SLAs and- To meet your, the SLA. Yes, should meet the SLAs and you would also try to check the server performance. Okay? Clear about it, guys? So that is what we would actually try to find out in the load testing. So we have certain number of uh, users certain number of transactions that, you know, uh, on the day one that uh, this particular application would attract. And you are trying to test whether the application can sustain that particular load or not. That is what is the load testing. Okay. Of course, uh, let's say, you know, there are, uh, uh, you know, the business anal uh, analytics says that there would be some uh, 1500 users that would be there on the system on day one. What I would do, I would add a little buffer, right? I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to be caught red-handed uh, when there are a little more users than what is expected, isn't it? When there are more number of users, it's good for business, right? So you should always add a little buffer and you should ensure that uh, your application would be able to sustain that particular kind of load, okay? Is that clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, guys. Uh, uh, is this is this uh, speed okay? Are you clear? Uh, do you have any issues? Yeah, it's clear. Right. So this is what is the load testing. Okay. Now, what are, what is the goal of load testing? Again, guys. What is the goal of load testing? Venkat. To reduce the response time? No, not to reduce the response time. Uh, please be very clear. When you say what is the goal of load testing? Or uh, let me rephrase my question. What is load testing? Guys, while testing, it is, you know, you, you would never be able to reduce anything or increase anything. Or you're, all you're trying to do is, so meanwhile, so trying to test what is the actual situation. Okay. What is the 
actual situation what is the kind of okay. response times that are there you would test and you would report it and once you report it you know somebody else would actually try and uh, you know uh, ensure that that is fixed okay or maybe you know as a uh, as a performance engineer you might actually take that up but as a tester your uh, your job is only to report that okay 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 yeah so what is the goal of load testing to meet the sla with the expected load on the system to test the application with the expected load no okay to test the application with the expected load and to check whether the application is meeting the sls or not okay is that clear guys yep understood yeah uh, so guys uh, you know the notes of all this uh, there is uh, this uh, you know very neat presentation that uh, uh, pavan has already uh, produced so the notes of all this you would actually be able to get get it from this but guys uh, over here i'm actually trying to ensure that you guys understand what exactly it is okay see load testing generally simulates current user load on the system okay the current user load or the normal user load the load testing would usually be done for one to two hours load testing ensures that the application is stable and can handle execute um, expected peak load load testing is mandatory test that will be done to prior to any other performance test okay is that clear guys yes yes sir okay so yeah. uh, you know don't worry about the notes uh, you know try to understand the concept very very carefully okay ensure that you understand the concept and if there is any uh, any issues over there you would have to ask me okay these basic concepts are very important guys trust me uh, you know uh, in the interviews uh, the first few minutes of whether the interview has to continue properly or they are only doing it politely would would be dependent upon these basics okay they would actually ask you uh, you know especially with the uh, lesser experience when you go they would actually ask you all these basic questions and if you are able to answer this basic questions only then they would actually jump on to the next uh, you know important questions uh, the scripting uh, you know uh, controller and all those things they would actually ask you only after that okay if you are not able to answer these basic questions uh, you know if i am the interviewer you know after that it would only be a formality i have already decided that uh, you know i am not hiring you okay Okay. clear about it guys yeah. so you would have to understand this particular basics very very carefully okay sometimes guys you know people if you are if you uh give the answers to this basics very very properly very uh, you know in an interesting manner with with a lot of enthusiasm and all we tend to ignore you know if you are not able to answer a few questions not all questions but if you are uh, not able to answer a few questions in the uh, you know advanced topics if you are not able to answer a few questions we are okay with that okay probably i would say okay this guy would learn not a big deal he knows the basics okay clear about it guys yes so please ensure that you learn the basics very very properly and only then attempt the interviews okay even though you uh, you have a very good knowledge extremely good knowledge on scripting testing and uh, uh, you know reporting all those but then you did not answer you know a couple of basic questions properly gone your interview is gone doomed okay clear about it guys yes yeah that is uh, that is where a lot of people would uh, you know miss out they would say hey you know what i have answered every scripting question every uh, you know question that they, that they have asked uh, very very superb uh, yeah they, they might be right they they have actually answered the scripting questions and uh, you know uh, uh, results analysis and all that very very properly but then you know one or two basic questions they did not answer properly and you know the interviewer uh, uh, lost his interest right at that moment after that whatever the kind of uh, you know answers that you are giving he is not even concentrating you get my point right yes yeah yeah so yeah. understand so not out... yeah please go ahead sir 
yes, yeah sir. understand this basics very properly and uh, that would really help you okay yeah so i'd like to i would like to add something here uh, yeah, so but... not only not only the number of questions that you answer so the quality of your answer matters a lot right so you know krishna mohan right sham krishna mohan jandiala yep yep he is working as a manager in some service based company so la, you know couple of months back we had a call and uh, he is saying something so pavan is there any ante manaki chinna pudu school lo chadade appudu guide lu undai kada ala emanna guides unnaya performance testing ki andaru okay answers cheptunnaru ante he was really surprised that he called me out of curiosity he called me because he know that i am giving trainings so he called me and he is asking this question లాస్ట్ వన్ మంత్ లో ఒక పది మందిని ఎంటర్ చేశాను ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఈస్ గివింగ్ సేమ్ స్టీరియో టైపిక్ ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ దర్ ఎనీ గైడ్ అని అడుగుతుంది సో ప్రాబ్లం ఏంటంటే లైక్ యూ వీ హ్యావ్ సమ్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ డాక్యుమెంట్స్ ప్రిపేర్ బై సమ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ సో ఆల్ దోస్ ఆర్ రీడింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ దట్ గైడ్ ఫ్రమ్ దట్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ డాక్యుమెంట్ ఓకే సో హి దిస్ దిస్ గై ఈస్ గెటింగ్ యూ నో మై వన్ ఆఫ్ మై ఫ్రెండ్ ఈస్ గెటింగ్ వెన్ హీస్ డూయింగ్ ఇంటర్వ్యూస్ so is getting same type of stereo uh, what we call that same type of answers you got it that, because everyone is reading from that uh, document interview questions document that is not a way to attend the interview right so you should tell in your own words technical you know terms you have to use obviously but you have to give them you know elaborate answer more elaborate answer right you understood the context guys yes sir yes sir yes yes yeah and guys that is the reason why you know uh, i'm i'm actually trying to tell you like understand the concept very very carefully and once you understand the concept you know uh, the notes is only for your reference uh, only for uh, as pavan said only for uh, you know uh, referring to the technical terms some uh, words okay but when uh, as as pavan said it you know please don't buy hard these notes you are not uh, you know uh, we are we are uh, running this like a school guys ensuring that we are giving you uh, you know exercises tests and all that in order to only in order to ensure that you properly practice and you are ready for the job okay but then uh, you know for the interview you would actually have to use your own mind you would have to put it in your own words all right so that would that would really help otherwise you know if you start by hearting and if you start uh, you know telling the same kind of answers you know uh, people would say okay you know what uh, you know uh, they they would get frustrated okay clear about it guys yeah, yeah. and uh, you know as as pawan said uh, you know and as an experienced trainer if i take an interview of uh, anyone i can actually you know uh, to a level of 60 to 70% accuracy i can say from which institute uh, this this guy got trained okay and guys as i said i don't care i don't care if you are uh, if you are actually getting trained somewhere all i care is whether you will be able to handle the work or not okay yeah and correct to what i understand most of the hiring managers who don't care who uh, don't have any uh, you know relation with the training and all they also think the same okay they would say hey uh, you know what sham this guy got uh, trained somewhere i can i can tell by the uh, kind of answers uh, this guy is giving but then uh, you know he has done well on scripting test so let's take him okay uh usually i find those kind of conversations okay yeah okay <sighs> all right guys so uh this is what is load testing okay you are trying to find what is the expected load on the system and you are actually trying to test that particular uh test the system with that kind of load 
And when I say load guys, what, what do I mean by load? Yes, transactions and user. Exactly. It's not only users. It's also about the transactions. Be very careful, guys. Okay, because a user can, as I said, a user can log into the application or can access the home page of the application and can sit idle. That is not a, a you know a user. Okay, it is the number of transactions also that that matters. Okay, clear about it, guys. So. What you would do is you would actually try to find out what is the uh, what is the kind of uh, number of transactions, number of users that are there on the system uh, that would be there on the system, and you would actually try to test that for uh, for that kind of load, and that is what is called as load testing. Okay, clear, guys? Yeah, clear. Yeah. So that is the load testing. Now. As uh, Pawan has mentioned in this uh, particular document, you know the load testing would actually be done for, you know, probably an hour or two. Okay, uh, Pawan, you're still there on the call. Yeah, sure. Tell me. Uh, how do I get rid of this particular annotation? Oh, okay, okay. So there in uh, you have an option called. Uh, uh, so in Zoom meeting. So wait, let me reclaim host, and I will. Uh, if I see the option, I can. Uh, understand yeah i stopped the uh, you know uh, annotation but uh, uh, you know i can't get rid of the uh, there will be an option to clear the annotation also there will be one option to clear the current annotations also oh wait can you stop the recording um yeah let me stop recording 